please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Raptors? Today is Thursday, October 3rd. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Now, now on to the daily news. Sixth graders have won the September attendance incentive for being the grade level with the best attendance. Sixth graders have earned a dress down day this Friday, October 4th. Sixth graders will receive a wristband during advisory on October 2nd. Students must have a wristband on to dress down on Friday. Congratulations, sixth graders. Attendance Awareness Month Fact of the Day. Students who attend school regularly are more likely to graduate and find good jobs. In fact, a high school graduate makes on average one million more than a dropout over a lifetime. Hey Raptors, come try out for the JMMS Archery Team. Tryouts are October 15th through 18th. Scan the QR code or use the link on the school-wide Google Classroom to sign up for a tryout time. Please see Mr. Stouse in room D202 if you have any questions. Golf has officially started. James Monroe, what's up? Coach Montano here, Golf Club. Monday's 3.30, Paradise Golf Course. Just out here with a few James Monroe kids out here. Let's take a look and see. Dom, say what's up. What's up? Right on. Nick, say what's up. Ben's here. Polly's over here. Say what's up, Paul. What's up? Right on. And you got Blake over there on the other side. Come on out to Golf Club. Come try it. Even if you're not a golfer, you want to just come check it out and try it. Come see if you're good at it. Have some fun. James Monroe, come see me in my class if you want to sign up. Here are some pictures of golf. It will be at Paradise House Golf Course. It costs $5. Monday is at 3.30 to 4.30. And talk to Mr. Montano in room C104 if you're interested. Come check this. Jansen Row Middle School Dungeons & Dragons Club What is Dungeons & Dragons? At its heart, D&D is a storytelling game. Everything is your decision. From what you look like, to what you say, and to how you act. The dice just help you along your adventure. Dungeons & Dragons takes you and your friends on epic journeys. You can become characters you create, you can make your own epic journey through a mystical land, battle monsters, uncover secrets, find treasure, and make memories that last a lifetime. Together, the dungeon master and players create an exciting story where their bold adventurers confront challenging perils. Both the dungeon master and players use dice throughout the game to determine the outcome of certain actions. Dungeons and Dragons Club for Beginner Players We'll meet in room E208 every Thursday afternoon from 3 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. If you have never played Dungeons and Dragons, but you are interested in learning how to play, this club is for you. Open to all grades, but space is limited. We only have room for 10 students. D&D Beginners Club begins Thursday, October 17th. Stop by B208, the technology office, to sign up. Dungeons and Dragons Club for experienced players. We will meet in room E208 every Wednesday afternoon from 3 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. Open to all grades, but space is limited. We only have room for 10 students. This club is for players who already know how to play Dungeons & Dragons, but this time, you will not only be a player, but also maybe the Dungeon Master. D&D Advanced Club begins Wednesday, October 16th. Stop by B208 Technology Office to sign up. 
Join D&D Club today. Sign up in B208. Hey Raptors, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and our volleyball team is stepping up with two amazing fundraisers to support the cause. Here's everything you need to know to get involved. First up, we're having a special pink dress down day. On Tuesday, October 8th, you can wear pink to support breast cancer awareness, but here's the catch. It's not a regular dress down day. You have to purchase a wristband in order to participate and you have to wear pink. With the wristband, you can wear any pink clothing to school. Pink shirts, pink pants, pink skirts, pink tutus, you name it. You can even accessorize with pink. But remember, you still have to follow the APS dress code. No face painting, no tattoos, no torn clothing, and absolutely no colored hairspray. Let's keep it classy and show our support the right way. Remember, you must buy a wristband in order to participate. Next up, get ready for a super fun event, the Staff vs. Student Volleyball Game. It's happening also on Tuesday, October 8th during 6th period. It's going to be an epic showdown, teachers vs. students. Want to watch? You'll need to buy a wristband for entry. Wristbands will be sold during both lunches at the cafeteria stage on Friday, October 4th and Monday, October 7th. Don't miss your chance to see who comes out on top. Keep in mind that this is a separate wristband than the pink dress down date. There will be two different wristbands for the two different fundraisers. So mark your calendars, get your pink outfits ready, and grab your wristbands during lunch. All funds go to the American Cancer Society. Let's make this Breast Cancer Awareness Month one to remember. Thank you, Raptors. Science Matters by Jason. Today, I'll be interviewing two eighth graders about the recent SpaceX news. What's your name? Francisco. What grade are you in? Eighth. How do you feel about the SpaceX news? I think it's pretty cool that civilians are going to space and doing a spacewalk. I also think it's pretty cool that um, their, their suits are really compact. And do you think humans will inhabit Mars soon? I do. Polaris Dawn was the first time that four humans were all exposed to space at the same time. What's your name? Brian. What grade are you in? Eight. And how do you feel about the SpaceX news? I think it's cool that they're like just regular people. And do you think Mars will be inhabited soon? No, I do not think that. Bye Raptors. Have a great day, Raptors.